Hey guys, this is uh, Megatronus Prime coming back at you, and this time we got uh, Titans Return, uh, Infinitus, and Sentinel Prime. I think I said that name right, but here's his card. Looks pretty good. His text backs there. It was actually all 10, and then when you read Infinitus, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but pretty good got some nice artwork there and here's his box here's his well there's his instructions in the box but infinitus and sentinel prime transformers generations uh, they got the autobot logo there got the same artwork there there's the, the back and obligatory there uh, product shots and there's the bow. Transforms in 11 steps. 12 if you count him. There's Power Master Optimus Prime, Galvatron, Hardhead, Nightbeat, and of course he works with all sizes there. Um, Deluxe, Voyager, and Leader Class. So, we'll get rid of that. And we'll focus on the train. That's what I got him in first, is his train mode. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of done some painting up on him, so that's why he looks a little different. So, get him down here, sorry about that. There's my finger. Infinite this out here. Let you take a look at him, if I can get the camera back up. Didn't really do nothing to the actual robot face. I did paint some on his sides there. Close that up. And there, there's uh, his face. I did have yellow up here, but I tried to scratch it off, but of course it didn't come out like I wanted it to. Did the focus back in there. There you go. There we go. Kind of went with the uh, origin of Megatron comic where it had him in it and where Megatron beats him up, leaves him for dead. He kind of had that look going on. So with the silver there, of course that was all silver, but then that was yellow. So now we'll take a look at his train mode there. You can see I've done some uh, painting there. I painted up his wheels there and I painted in those windows and painted the train modes red and the black windows. Did that on both sides there. I'm giving him some lights. Get him focus in. Painted his guns up top. I mean, I've done some, I had some, a lot of paint on there so. This other side the same thing, painted wheels. But well, no, not too bad. Here's his, I don't if I can get it off there. Of course that's the one with his seat, you know, he just sits in it, plugs in there. And his other gun here. Looks pretty good. Now, if I can do this one handed, I will. Just gonna tab everything here. These uh, wings here, they tab in on the back there with that little slot here and there. And these tab in with that circle there, and a little back tab on his hand there. Sides there. Over here, do the same thing and tab it. Oh, that don't come out there. Oh, using the wrong hand, I guess. Take these. Just gonna get it out of the way there. You wanna come here? Of course, that one's already flipping, but. First you want to take these, open up, 
both sides. Oop, sorry, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Take those, tap them in, tap it there, tap it back in here. And tap that, tap the foot. Use it back up, come on this other side, do the same thing. Set up. The other side. Together, I hope if I've done that here, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this with one hand, so just bear with me. right there on the other side here or right there we'll get him guys it just takes a little bit with one hand here surprise my phone is not going to record this long stay in there Come on this side. Put down his arm. Put down that arm if you can. Sorry. Take these and they will tap into those little holes right there. Come on, work with me, Sandy. He doesn't want to work. the wheels in there. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just have to tab, tab it all in for it to do anything. Okay. You can run here. Flip that around. Uh, this is really hard work with one hand, guys. I'm going to set this down right here. Just kind of, you want to make sure that this piece here goes underneath that thing right here when you turn them into shuttle mode. And then it tabs in into the arm here. Oops, a little too much here. Come on the other side. Bring it down that double hinge here. You can see that. Pieces under there. Tap that in. Tap that all in. Those out. Come over on the other side. Put out his landing gear. Okay. Told you we'd do it. <laughs> yeah, I painted the top part of the fins there and then on the back there. And, uh, that was not my doing. These were the way it came in, fake crew wise. I did paint those in. Nose and a nose cone there. Painted some black right there. And I painted the, those in silver. He's got some nice Autobot symbols there. He's even got one right here on his, which will be his chest. So, okay, now let's get him into robot mode. Let's scoot him back as far as I can there. Hopefully, I can still see it. Someone 
have to have the arms. Put on both sides if I can. Put those up. Put that up. And uh, in terms of this pen, still fit in the cockpit there. As you see when I had them in train mode. So I'm going to flip these back down. Put them on both sides here. I hope this is in camera. Looks like it is. Take the legs, rotate them this way. Straight up the feet. It's going to get tall, and this one means we're all going to seize the feet there. Right there, which tabs in the back end of that. So, locks in his fists, yeah, on both sides. And there's his robot mode. I painted here and here, there and inside there. Painted that black, and that yellow, and that. Painted those. I kind of regret painting those parts, but when I got on his arms, I got some red, but you can't really tell it. Got some yellow. Like those little windows in on you know, both sides there. So. I don't know, I like the uh, his robot mode, but he would just needed to just break up a lot of that orange and stuff. So just look at his head again. You just take that if I can. It's hard to do with one hand. So hold on just a second. Look at his legs there. There we go. And that's what it looks like. And I'll paint it up. I like him. I think it looks real good. I mean, I'm, it's not perfect, but it's it works for me. It's you know what I wanted it to look like so that's pretty cool and I, I really like his figure I mean yeah he does have some play there in his legs but uh, appears in the comic book of the times return that he comes back he didn't really die after Megatron beat the tar out of him in the Megatron origins uh, he just Detached from the body and went into hiding, got stronger, uh, made himself a new body, and then he comes back and all kinds of stuff breaks loose. And something about he is disgusted with the Autobots working with the Decepticons after the war, and he's pretty much wanting to wipe out everybody to more or less remake Cybertron in a new golden age his way, or I guess, but. He's holding his weapons there, and of course he does have the pylon gimmick, and my legs are loose on if he did this, but I didn't paint those. I just, I really don't really use them that much, so but, uh, you can do that. That's a look for him, and you can see there it does, you know, turn all the way well, as far as it'll go, but it gives him some more head movement, so. That is all I got for now, guys. Uh, if you like, leave a comment, uh, click the like button, and, uh, share this video, help me get some more subscribers. And uh, I got some other guys I've you know touched up and painted up, like Scourge, which I've already done two videos of him. But um, you know, I've got Galvatron. I've done some a little bit of custom work on him and. I've got uh, Wolfwire and uh, Blur, Chrome Dome, um, Skull Smasher, so 
but that's all I got for now guys again just uh, click the like button help me out there and help me get some more subscribers and I'll try to get more videos up but I've just been trying to get these the way I want them to look before I do video reviews on them so but until next time see ya bye